Hello Rubble, welcome back to the channel, I am Ben. If you follow me, you know already that I am going to pre-order the Pico 4 Pro and when the pre-order will open, I will dive directly to acquire my Pico 4 Pro. Meanwhile, first reviews for Pico 4 are starting to come out and I have seen one in particular. The channel is Laubox. If you want to check the complete review of Laubox, I will give you the link in the description or you may follow this video video in which I summarize the most important things that has been said in this review. So let's not waste any more time and let's see what Pico 4 will have to offer to us. So the reviewer divides the review by speaking in order of the price, which we know is 4 to 9 euros for the 128 gigabytes version, while it's 499 euros for the 256 gigabyte. The headset looked very cheap and light at first glance, but wearing, according to Loudbox, the first impression that is very, very comfortable. Overall, you don't feel on the neck, which is great for long sessions. On the headset we have four tracking cameras plus one camera at 16 megapixels for the color pass through and it's so sharp that you can read the message on your phone or on your computer without removing the headset from these images i see some distortion however and the pass through camera is not stereoscopic what does that mean it means that the headset is not capable to recognize depth so it's not capable to track for example on its own wall Walls, doors, windows and furniture you have in the room. But it's not a problem if you use the pass-through to look around. In this case, you don't even notice that the camera is not stereoscopic. The only problem is the headset is not capable to track items inside the room. But it's not even a problem because, for example, could arrive a system like we have in the Quest 2, where you can manually track walls, doors and all the other stuff you have in the room using your controller, tracking with your controllers. Then he makes all his evaluation about comfort, showing for example the mask, which judging from what I see in this review, it seems to be made of a fabric-like material that is certainly soft and may result fresh on your face. But I think that in very few uses, you will need to remove and wash. So I hope that third-party manufacturers like VR covers or other will soon produce replacing a mask for the Pico 4, like the one in like the one in leatherette from VR cover, or even just a silicon cover for the stock mask of the Pico 4. I noticed that the bracket feels flexible, it's not hard, it's not rigid like in the Quest 2, and it's so easy to remove and put it back that I thought it had magnetic support, but it's not. It's interesting uh, to hear uh, Loudbox saying that he did not feel the pressure on his face, probably beca because the headset is very very light, or maybe the mask is so soft that you don't feel the pressure. One thing that made me turn up my nose a bit is the fact that apparently there is no way to detach the uh, the head strap which among other things contains the battery which seems to last a little longer than the quest 2 because we are talking about a 6000 milliampere battery and it require two hours for a fully recharge now the fact that you cannot detach the head strap could be a problem for several reasons first because you cannot replace it with more comfortable third-party head straps but above all if the battery has any problem and you need to replace it you cannot replace just the battery but you have to replace the entire headset since if you ask around 90 percent of the person will tell you that the hollow strap is the most comfortable i wonder why manufacturer do not make straps for example as comfortable as the bobo vr m2 and overall why they don't do with removable batteries to confirm that the strap cannot be removed or replaced with third-party accessories is that the volume keys are located on the right bracket of the head strap and not directly on the headset while the power button is on the right side of the headset itself for the audio loudbox say that it feels like a good 360 sensation it's kind of personal so wait for me to have the pico 4 pro and i will tell you how the audio 
audio feels. There is no 3.5 millimeter jack, so you cannot use uh, cable headphones, but you can always connect a Bluetooth one. Now let's talk about controllers. As you may already have noticed, uh, the controllers come with the tracking rings on the top, running from the front to the back of the controller and passing over the controller itself. And these remind a bit of what we've seen already with the PSVR 2 controllers. And I guess uh, the thing is very good because, for example, should not never happen again to hit the, the rings together when you try, for example, to reload or when you do something that requires to put your hands. We have a classic key buttons configuration, so A, B and X, Y keys. We have a thumbstick for each controller, key menu, and we have two additional keys. On the right controller, there is one, for example, that allow you to do a screenshot or instantly start the recording. And each controller require two AA battery to work, approximately 80 hours. Now let's talk about uh, a great thing that really blew me away. The base model of the Pico 4 has no automatic IPD adjustment. However, it has an hybrid electronical mechanical system, which is a cross between the Rift S IPD adjustment and the Vive Pro I, because as in the Rift S, you have to set your IPD in by the software in VR. But then the lenses will move automatically because they are motorized and, and this is great. So you set your IPD and the lenses will move automatically. So when you receive the Pico 4, do not play with lenses, do not move the lenses with your hand because you will crush the, the motor inside and you will have to return it. So let's say that is a semi-automatic while in the Pico 4 Pro will have a completely automatic IPD adjustment system. So you wear the headset and the lenses will move on its own because they recognize the distance thanks to uh, sensors. And keep in mind one very important information because the Pico 4 IPD has a range that goes from a minimum of 62 millimeters to a maximum of 72. Talking about the operating system, we have the Pico OS 5.0 and it's very similar to the system we have on the Quest 2. Also the environment, the virtual environment and the interface is very similar, so if you know already the Quest 2, you will feel very familiar using Pico 4 because it shows all these windows, the store browser, the library, the headset settings and so on. In VR, is it possible to see the charge of the controller through an indicator at the base of the handle of the controller? For the lovers of films and TV series, we have some apps already installed in the headset, such as, for example, Prime Video or Disney Plus. And according on what Laubox say, this headset is perfect to uh, watch video contents. Now, I want to talk about a very important aspect often asked by you. And overall, there are many of you who say, well, okay, Pico 4 is interesting, but I want to stick with uh, Quest 2 and Meta because the Pico's library has no games. That's not true, because what you are seeing right now is the complete Pico library with many of the most important games already present on the Meta Store. And many more are about to come, for example, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, and it's already known that Ubisoft is developing Just Dance exclusively for Pico 4, and therefore is it to be expected that other developers will want to make exclusives for this brand. Gentlemen, the VR war has begun, and the rejoice because we we consumers will be the one who will benefit from this war be between titans. And finally, let's talk about PC VR. Guys, I don't know if Laubox said something uh, without trying it himself, or I don't know if Pico forgot to say, but it seems that Pico 4 can be connected to PC also via cable. Obviously, we're talking about USB cable, and it seems that you can also use the original Oculus Link and we will see some good ones, especially for those who love simulators. And of course you can connect the headset uh, to the PC via wireless using the streamer app, which is a program that comes directly with the headset to be installed on your PC. And to confirm what I just said, the USB item appear on the software connection interface. So yes, connection via USB cable is it possible? 
possible, but unfortunately it's not a display port. Why? What's great is that uh, we have a lot more of options and settings compared to Air Link to adjust video quality and if this is not enough, the developer of Virtual Desktop, God bless him, has already made it known that Virtual Desktop will be available soon for Pico 4. Before to close, uh, for those who will see the complete review of Laubox, you will hear him talking about God Race, light that enters from the side, white that in some cases tends to yellowish, but this depends on, on how you set your headset on your face, because we have pancake lenses inside this headset, so there should be not God Race, flares, or things like that. So wait for me to put my eyes inside the headset and I will make you know. Well, for now, this is all I was able to find about Pico 4. I hope I removed some of your doubts about this headset. And let me know down in the comments what you think about Pico 4. I remind you again that I'm waiting for the opening of the pre-order for the uh, Pico 4 Pro and when will be in my hands, I will show you in all its glory. Thank you for watching completely the video. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. If you want to support the channel, use the heart-shaped button under the video. From Ben it's all, see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Bye bye, Rubble.